And then these cages need to go outside. Okay, guys, so listen, I just want to let you guys know something. I just want to let you guys... Never trust anyone that makes that much noise. My fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings, my name is Marlene McCohen. Welcome to my channel. My birds are moving out. I have 10 parrots and they've all got to go, so it's time. You're upset about that? Yep. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, I just, I just don't feel passionate about birds anymore, you know? They're a lot of work. I'm just giving up. Just kidding. We are actually going to be exterminating. There's a good lesson for you guys what to do. Just so you know, you cannot exterminate when parrots are in the house. And we do have a little bit of a problem with some crickets and some other things. The exterminators say that they are all natural. Whatever they say to you, just don't have your birds in the house. Our birds are moving out. They're going to sleep over our friend's house. Sleep over. But not her house for a night. Maybe we'll even go sleep there with them. Maybe with a blow up bed. Wasn't what I was planning on doing today. Hello. They're coming tomorrow night to exterminate. Then the birds will be out of the house for at least a day. They're not spraying like the air, but still. And the cages have to leave because we don't want any of that to stick to anything in their cages. So. Yeah, so everything that is not going with us is going outside. We're gonna try to consolidate some of the birds. Do one more cage. One more cage. Should I do one of those? Uh, yeah, this is now Monty's cage and they could definitely sleep together. Are you gonna be mad if you have to sleep with uh, your boyfriend? Well, tell Monty that he's getting a new house. He might be okay with that. Yeah, Monty, you're getting a new house, okay? So. Yeah, well, actually, it's Nelly maybe that we need to talk to. Nelly, uh, Monty's gonna sleep over your house tonight. Carla, what? You know what other cages we're taking? Or we're taking all of them. We got like I don't know 20 minutes to achieve something. What do you want to achieve? I don't know. Do I achieve like more getting the boxes out? What? That was lemon shopping. Here. I swear there was a... Did There's you get... one! Are you kidding me? She's gonna be banned from playing with the lemons. Bella, that's it! You're off the lemon chain. Mama, you bought the lemon? I did, but you can't be like dropping lemons and forgetting about them. Yeah, because it's the worst day when I don't have lemon. Afterwards, we, me and you go over there and sort them out, right? Okay. I'm, I'm cleaning them too. Right? I'm just making sure. And then these cages need to go outside. Okay, guys, so listen, I just want to let you guys know something. I just want to let you guys... Never trust anyone that makes that much noise. Sorry. All right, guys, I just want to let you know, like sometimes you have to consider the fact that people are people. Do not put the expertise of your bird in anyone else's hands but your own. So if an exterminator comes and they say to you like, oh, you won't have to move the birds, it's all natural, whatever, just always move the birds. You never want um, to take a chance on anything. It's the same with pots and pans. Sometimes you'll see they'll say, there's no Teflon, but then it'll have Cephalephalon or whatever, which is like, you know, the, the non-branded, non-generic type of non-stick pan. I don't like taking these guys all the way through. I know, they're so cute. Look at them still sitting together. What happened? They flew down. Oh. But she follows them. Yeah, they know. Like two little lovebirds, I swear. They should, uh, they should, they should be the next uh, February. For their fun, for their fun bucks? Yes. They're not parrots, but they're definitely cute. She literally will go under him, and he protects her. He's like, he likes it. Look at him. He can't all puffy. 
He's like, yep, I got her. And then the next thing you want to do is throw all of their old toys away. It's just a good opportunity to do so, but you don't want to leave any toys in the house. Paper toys definitely have to be thrown away if they were in the house, if you came home and someone else had exterminated. The only thing you could probably keep is not wood toys, is maybe if you were able to put some pure plastic toys in the dishwasher and give it a thorough cleaning. This is like a heavy duty thing. You can keep it. <laughs> yeah, we'll wash it. But also, we'll have to revamp all the cages when they come back with some new toys. It's also a good time to check what toys aren't working. So clearly, as you can see, even if you're taking the toys out of the cages, they cannot be in the vicinity when everything's getting sprayed. So what I've done is I've made a little plastic box right here. And these are the good toys, the new toys, toys that I'm going to have sealed, covered, and put somewhere else. It's 1.30 in the morning. It's definitely not the norm for everything we're doing right now. Most of the cages are out. The other cages are gonna go outside. We're gonna have to get all the birds in a vehicle, get them over. I am redoing all their food and water right now. I'm so tired. Um, and we have to make sure every single parrot product, everything that we have for birds is not in this area, obviously. Okay guys, it's 2 a.m., maybe later. And while I was waiting for George, I came up with a solution. These guys can all sleep here tonight because, yeah, you wanna do that? You wanna sleep there tonight with Jersey? Is that okay, Jersey? The extermination's not coming till tomorrow. So it's tomorrow night that I want them to be out. So all their cages are ready, but tonight I can have Jersey and Vinny together, Cody right here, Nellie and Monty, I'll cover them. Leo I haven't found what to do with. Merlin has his own outdoor cage, so I just brought that in. Rocky sleeps on his stand all night anyway. And Brandel will go up to my room. Am I missing any birds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, I only have nine birds. Pretty good. You're already in your spot tonight, so that'll be fine. Basically, instead of waiting for the boys to get back, I've taken matters in my own hands, put them to bed. Reason being, I don't wanna be over there transferring birds. That'll take like another hour. It'll be four in the morning before we go to bed, which isn't outlandish for us, but still. I have business to do in the morning. You ready to do this? I'm exhausted. I already got them out of bed. How did you do that? I just found places for all of them. So they're gonna sleep here tonight? Yeah, there's no reason for them to sleep there tonight. They can just sleep here. Leo's sleeping on that stand and Nelly's sleeping on that stand. Okay. Those guys don't move. Like, how do I get into the house tomorrow? Oh, uh, you have a code. No, oh, the birds have to leave here tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm not gonna be here to do it. Who's but gonna do that? We'll, we'll, uh, how do I get the birds over there? I can take Rocky with me in the morning. Take Rocky with you in the morning, that's a good idea. You can handle Jersey? Yeah, or you could take Jersey and Rocky. Jersey. Jersey's not gonna wanna get out of bed. She's just not, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It looks so pretty, look at this. I know. Do you understand you actually came out with the, the, ni the nicest thing, like he, I don't know, it's just like the perfect thing for a bird. I know, it's so gorgeous. I, I, I enjoy it. It's like, it's it's fun to see all the characters. And I, I mean, just me being inside, you know what I mean? It's, it's fun to see that. It's cool. I bet it's even more fun for them. Technically, just load him. What do we load him up in the Mini Cooper? He has the key to the SUV. He's being ridiculous. How am I gonna get them all in this car? This makes no sense right now because the roof doesn't go down. 